Hey everyone, so I'm willing to bet that you lot actually like gear, so this is my guide to gearing up in patch 6.2.3. The goal is to get you as high an item level as is possible as quickly as possible. Patch 6.2.3 and patch 6.2.2 have changed up loads of game systems and they actually have a pretty major effect on how you gear. This guy does roughly assume you know the structure of the patch 6.2 content in terms of gearing. If you don't know that, don't worry, I've got an in-depth gearing guide that you should watch first. Click on the eye on the top right of your screen or the link in the description to see that. So assuming we're starting off from the bottom here, what you want to do is head right into Tanan Jungle. Install the Handy Notes Draenor Treasures add-on. It will show you numerous treasures and rare spawn locations on the map, as well as the loot that they drop quickly do a bit of a run around the jungle and collect the loot that is relevant to your spec. That'll get you a big surge of item levels pretty darn quick. Once that's done, simply do all of your Tanan jungle quests every day without fail. You'll die of fun. This is covered by my Tanan jungle video, which you can check out. Remember that after doing the quest to clear three Apexis areas, you can then do another one to clear the other three, albeit for less rewards. You will, of course, earn Apexis crystals and mobs will drop baleful gear tokens these are different in patch 6.2.3. The gear tokens can spawn a bit of gear with an item level that is anywhere from 655 to 695 in five item level increments. You can also purchase an empowered Apexis fragment for 20,000 Apexis crystals. This will directly boost any bit of baleful loot to item level 695. You want to use these on your high value slots like the weapon, chest, and of course the head. Now, as much as that Tanan stuff is, um, effective, I won't say fun, if it is a time walking weekend, there is another way to get great starter gear super easily. The time walker dungeons drop time warped badges, and the bosses drop gear that can be up to item level 675. Also, each time walking weekend has a vendor. The Wrath one is in Dalaran, the TBC one is in Chatrath, and I've got no bloody clue where the Cataclysm one is. They sell 675 gear that is really, really cheap in terms of the amount of time warped badges that they, um, that they actually cost, so this is a great way to get your character started quickly. Do note that you can also purchase items from the AH or craft gear. Anyway, once you're decked out into Nan gear, or perhaps time walking gear, what you want to do is solely focus on Mythic Dungeons. After patch 6.2.3, they changed a lot. You can do each one once per week, so do one, then another, and another, and another, and keep on going until you've done every single dungeon the lockouts will reset after the week, which is uh, Tuesday in America or Wednesday in Europe. The main change in patch 6.2.3 is that the gear can warforge all the way up to item level 725. That's mythic raid quality, though getting 725 is pretty darn rare. The other reason that you would want to do mythic dungeons is that they now drop valor points. So Valor points have returned and they can be used to upgrade your gear. I'll throw up a chart of all the different sources, but the long and short of it is you just want to do Mythic Dungeons. They are the most time efficient way of earning Valor points. Of course, to do a Mythic Dungeon, hit up the pre-made group finder by hitting I and going to the pre-made group finder and um, seeing what's available on your server. Upgrading a piece of gear costs 250 Valor and you can upgrade a bit of gear twice. Upgrading will, of course, just increase its item level a bit. In total, upgrading your whole set of gear costs about 8,500 Valor Points. Realistically, the upgrades that really matter are your important slots like your weapon, your chest, your head, and your trinkets, so upgrading the slots that really matter isn't going to take you that long. Working out what to upgrade can be a little bit tricky though. Normally you would just upgrade whatever's got the best secondary stats for your spec, but since Mythic Dungeon Gear or Baleful Gear can be anywhere between uh, 685 and 725 in five item level increments, it is a lot harder to work out. I personally recommend that you use Ask Mr. Robot's Valor Point Upgrade tool. It will just do all the maths for you, and it's what I personally use. Of course, you can also upgrade the Baleful gear that you get from Tanan Jungle tokens as well. It's also worth your while to do a random heroic dungeon every day for 100 Valor Points. Additionally, the bonus weekends, or bonus events, and that happen will give you 500 Valor Points, save the pet battle one, which won't, so they are totally worth doing. In summary, just do Tanan Jungle and Time Walking Dungeons until you're around item level 670 or 680, then do as many Mythic Dungeons as you possibly can. Look at the gear drops that you've got and upgrade the ones that are most likely going to stay with you for the longest, so upgrading something that's maybe, I don't know, item level 680 doesn't make a lot of sense, but upgrading something that's item level 720 or 715 or 705 makes a lot more sense because 
it is much more probable that that bit of gear won't be replaced for a good while. And it literally is that simple. The changes in this patch are essentially a fast track to get you into Hellfire Citadel, or if you're already raiding, then they're going to act as a nerf to that content the more that you actually get your Valor Points and upgrade your gear. So if you want to get your Hellfire Citadel Moose, now is the time, or next month, or three months after that, or maybe a month after that, because hey, Legion is still quite a while off. But anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you found it vaguely useful. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.